I'd like to show you the Aleph Null text nibs. There's two of them. There's this one, which by default displays uh, text and fills the text with images by C. Merrill Bennett. It's her text and her images. And then the second text nib is right here. When we click this, we see a different text and we see that it's not being filled with images instead it's being filled with the central color if I change the central color to something like that then yeah it uh, fills it with uh, the central color and if I bring up the color range then we see that it displays more color in the text and if I bring down the color range we see that the color that it displays is, is more is closer to the central color. And if we click this nib icon again, up come the nib options window, which tells us what we can change about this thing. So we can input our text here that we want it to use. We can click apply text to make all of null use our text. But then there's a drop down here that we can select different fonts from. If I click this, then we see that it's using a different font. And if there's a font that you want to use that is on your computer and it isn't in this list, then what you can do is you can type it in here and click Add System Font, and then it'll pick it up and you'll be able to use it. Got to get the name right, though. So anyway, that's what you can do with T1. Let's go back to the other one, which is kind of the more interesting one in that it will fill your text with images that you choose. Now, when I click the nib icon again, we see that there is a control in the underlying images section that we can click to browse for a folder of images. So you pick a folder of images and Olive Null will then use those images. It'll fill the text with those images. Sample order of the images, uh, random or alphabetical, this determines the order in which it's going to fill the text with the, the particular images. Like does it use image one first and then image two or is it a random order in which it chooses the images to fill the text with. Then in this section we can input the text. Now it will look for spaces. So you see that it's basically displaying one word at a time. So what's happening is it's looking for spaces and then it'll display stuff that's separated by spaces. Now, if you want to display two words at the same time, then the way to do that is to separate them with a caret symbol, this thing right here. Uh, you'll note if we get to that point again in the text that it displays buffoon quartet as one text. Another thing to know is that if you have multiple spaces between words, like right here we have one, two, three spaces, then what happens is that um, it pauses. So if you've got, say you've got cat space dog, what happens there? Well, it displays cat, and then a bit later it displays dog. And if you've got cat space space dog, then it displays cat, and then it pauses for the same amount of time that it displayed cat, and then it displays dog. And, you know, if you've got cat, space, 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 dog, then you get two pauses rather than one. So that's good to know about. You put your text in here, and then you click Apply Text so that it uses your text. And then same thing here is with the other one in terms of uh, the font that you want to use. You can add a system font if uh, the font that you want to use is on your machine, and it's not showing up here. So those are the controls on the text nibs.